All right, hey everybody. Fun bass songs to learn on bass. I've got two good songs here that that you want to add to your repertoire because they definitely will recognize a rec recognizable bass lines that everybody needs to know. And being a beginner bass bassist, you'll want to know these, and they'll just build your versatility that much more. So the if you haven't seen the other two videos, I've got what are some um, what are some bass songs to learn for beginners and easy bass songs to learn for beginners. Check those out. Two other videos I've got four songs there that are as well good and needed to know as a bassist. They're melodic lines. They're not the easiest bass lines, but they're easy bass lines, and they definitely are recognizable. And you'll want to put those in there. Real popular songs that add a whole lot of character to your to your ability. <clears throat> Now today, if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for the How to Play Bass online course, I Want to Play Bass. And if you haven't subscribed, get subscribed down below, leave a comment, hit the bell notification, because I've got more of these coming up. I've got a total of 10 songs I'm going to put out that are real popular songs that are great that you want to have in your, um, in your repertoire, in your um, portfolio. So with that being said, the... First song I've got today is going to be The Joker by Steve Miller. It's a great song back in the 70s. The bass line's real popular. If you play that one, everybody knows the song. You know, it's just real popular. Everybody will know, <clears throat> know the song that you're playing. The bass line is, carries that whole song, as well as the other 10 songs that I've gone over to. But this one's exceptionally cool. I like it a lot. So it's going to be in Kia F. And the first, the very beginning is just basically just this chord progression, F, B flat, and C, 1, 4, 5. So in the very beginning, the intro is just basically. And then it comes in. So that's the very beginning right there. You just start on F, B, B flat, C, and then you walk in. goes into the groove right there so it's just now right there it's still in the intro it's still in the intro so it's not the verse yet so it's still it changes a little bit right there just one time in the very beginning and that's just instead of um, I'll just show you that and then I'll show you the verse so it's going to be the intro is B flat C and then it goes into the groove G A A B flat C it repeats that a lot the G A to B flat so it's just into the intro and into the verse I mean it changes it goes so you got that instead of going from A B flat to C and then doing the lick it goes B flat go C to D and does a lick. So it's for the verse it's C D lick. Now that's just in the verse right there. So it does that. It's got a little in the intros it does one little thing that'll you'll notice and it's not detrimental, but it's cool to add in there. It's a little tiny quick fill, so it's in the very intro. You've got the... Just a 
does that in the intro and then in the verses it just stays pretty straightforward to the to that groove That's the verse. That's basically the whole song. You learn that bass line right there, and that's what that's what will get you recognized. But if you want to go forward on with the song, you've got a chorus that comes in there, which it just does one more change in there, and it does it through the front, let's say, a chorus, and then it goes into the solos, and then it just goes out. It ends on pretty simple song. It's just two changes, but it goes. the bar there so it does that over it repeats that over and over through the chorus um, and then into the guitar solo and then at the end of the guitar solo it does it again but it's got a little it holds on that C as opposed to dropping to that B flat half splitting a sharing a measure with that with that B flat it, To the um, thing, but he goes up an octave, and it just goes into this. So it's, instead of going, it just go. It holds on that, and then it just goes, and then it just goes on that out the song. It just goes out the entire song. So that chorus part is just F sharp. Second time it does that, it plays out octave F. And then it goes to that right there. So it just does that right there. And then it goes in that C. So the first time it just does the octave, but it comes back to the root to the low F. Hit on the octave F.
hope you got that. I've got a, just hang on, just hold tight. I've got the, um, the baseline for the cool song New Year's Day by U2 right now coming up. So, so we've got basically in the key of B. And you've got, they start on the, the sixth of that, actually, <clears throat> G sharp. So key of B, you've got quite a few sharps in it. So this is G sharp, and it does a minor third jump to B. So it's the very beginning. Is sound in there so a pick would help it out but real dirty dirty sound and then that right there is B to D sharp and then he goes to D sharp to F sharp basically it the whole song there's a chorus and there's a there's a little turnaround in there and then there's a chorus but then that is mostly everything of that song so it's so it's just turnaround into the chorus so the little turnaround is it goes so you're just playing the verse instead of taking this next verse into with the D sharp they just stay and they just hang on this
that's that's basically it on that one. <clears throat> now, like I say, we've got the 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 verse is just G sharp to B, and then B to D sharp, and then um, D sharp to F sharp, and then you just go down to C sharp. And then that little turnaround is just basically where he goes from the B to the D sharp. He just jumps right into the F sharp. Holds on the F sharp. Drops down a whole step to the E. And then it goes to the G sharp. just do the course alone because you'll see the second course round they, they don't they do the entire verse New Year's Day by U2 and great song, great bass. I mean, you can play that bass line and people will recognize that song you know, and, as well as the Joker. So I think the two of them together, they, the Joker is definitely more recognized. Um, Steve Miller band has been a lot longer. It's been out forever, so a lot more people are. Um, have heard that one before and you two as well nowadays but you know back 10 15 years ago it might not have been so um so um definitely popular they were definitely popular in the day but the song she might just grown through the years but you know it grew on me through the years so i was never a big u2 fan but they've got some good stuff that really takes you back
sure. And like I say, subscribe down below. I've got four more songs coming up next couple days. And I've got lessons at I want to play bass.com. If you really want to get serious about it, sign up there and we break everything down. You can learn you can learn how to figure these songs out on your own, find out what key they're in and how you can improvise over them and everything and from music theory and how to repair your bass, how to maintain your bass and everything that you want to know about the bass is there. So check it out. I want to play bass.com. Can't wait to see you or hear from you there and subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification and I'll see you next time.